Do we have any one of the, uh, we don't want to ignore people in the balcony. Anyone in the balcony with a question? Oh, yeah. Uh, um, no, you're, you're, you're content. No, you're down, 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 down here. Um, we got one down here. We got one here. Um, right, right here. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, you uh, serve in the shorts and black shirt next to right down the center. Uh, as this continues to grow, do you have any thoughts on how to scale the culture? Yes, many thoughts. <laughs> and it's uh, I have a manifesto. That's <laughs> <laughs> evolving. Um, we're always responding to the community, and that's central to it. No matter what we do, we've always said this, and it's always been true as it plays out. We always want to make sure we maintain this feeling, even though the first cruise, 335 people as a group with normal passengers on it, there was still that core. And even as we've changed, it still feels the same. And we're not putting any limits or maximums or minimums, but we do feel like there is a maximum ship size after which it might not feel the same, uh, and that it might not be possible to go larger than that, at which point we have to look at um, other ways of expanding in order to have more people to participate. It might mean a cruise at a different time of year. It might mean uh, a cruise immediately after the cruise. You know, we don't know. But that, um, <laughs> we're just Jonathan, and it's just Jonathan hugging people. Yeah, that's just like, like, uh, one hour long five minute hug sessions with Jonathan. <laughs> He'll be on deck two, working his way down deck two today. But, and this is actually a great thing to bring up, so central to how we get feedback, um, of course, anecdotally, that we love to talk here for people individually, but the survey we send out is, um, it's great, about 80% of people um, participate. It's a long survey, but we really do keep that for the greatest reason being, we want it to be something that the community uh, embraces, that when things bubble up, we're able to provision it to the best of our ability within the confines of what's possible in the ship. Um, and it, it, was a, it was a paramount concern to us when we went from a group to a full ship because it changed the nature of the main performances, certainly, where until that point, everybody was in one group that went and did everything, dinner, or show, or what have you together. And then it, had, it changed to, you know, at least for the main concerts, two different groups, we were very concerned about how that might change the culture. Uh, and luckily, everybody seemed to have adapted real well. Uh, and there's lighthearted fun of red team versus gold team, but we know that you're all still one alliance fighting against the empire altogether. Um, and, but that, and, and the surveys that Storm mentions uh, every year in the sort of word cloud of things when we ask people what was most important to them, what did, what was, what did they enjoy the most, the, the sense of community is easily topmost on everyone's response. So that is always, no matter how we sort of slice and dice things and might seek to alter things, it's paramount to us that that sense of community never gets lost or broken. And I would say for personal reasons as well, it is very important to us. This cruise is important to us mainly for that reason. We have, we have a real emotional connection to, um, to that experience of being with you and, and, uh, and sharing this thing and making this thing together. And, um, you know, I don't think any of us would want to do that if we, if we thought that by doing so we would, we would be losing any of that. It just would not be a thing that we wanted to do anymore. All that said, we also feel it's important to, to challenge the community to change things. And going back to when we went full ship, part of the decision for that, we realized if we stayed as a group, there weren't a lot of options for us to change the programming. We couldn't scale it up, we couldn't do a lot of neat things, we saw the opportunity for the community to grow. So it's possible we'll run into a fork in the road at some point that may, may require us to retool things, but if we do that, it's always going to be from that position of how can the community grow its roots into this new soil and how can this enhance the community? 